this was major news when it came to kind of hip hop Chicago drill over the last week. Now we're obviously not going to be watching the footage itself, but um, the release of Chicago rapper FBG Ducks murder, the actual footage of not just the murder, but everything leading up to it. Um, you know, the driving people running down the hallway. Now, obviously I can't show the actual thing taking place, but you see, um, you see them run into the car. You see them running down the stairs. You see them at the scene. You see them driving down the damn street. You see literally everything. Okay, it, it, it's crazy just how much the feds had, and it, 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 the the incident itself is over within seconds. You know, it, it's messed up. Honestly, it was really chilling. It really hurt my feelings to see what happened to Duck. We'd seen the horrible and grisly footage of him laying on the ground after the incident, but to actually see it go down within a matter of seconds, you know, there's no way he could have defended himself against what happened. Um, and ultimately, you know, that it, it's just over in seconds and then they're speeding away from the scene. And the feds have everything. You know, they've got them coming out of their homes to the car, to downtown, in the murder, and then back home. And one of the most crazy things about this was the fact that um, once they got back, they're being tailed by a police car a literal police car. Look, they come in and they are tailed by a Chicago police SUV. And they basically like hightail it around the corner. They all get out the car. Look, this is a police car, police SUV. That's the murder car. All right. And they all get out of the car and start walking and move along so quick. I guess the cops are just not bothered. Look, it's happened. It's all, it's all happened too fast. It's too much hassle. Anyway, they go back into their homes. We see everything. No wonder they got caught, let alone the self-snitching. But I just wanted to have a look at some of the comments on this. Just see the reaction to this footage coming out. Because there was a lot of really interesting takes on it. And, uh, you know, it, it was mad. It really was mad just as, as to be able to see all of this footage. Look at this. All of them cameras, we basically got this thing like a murder vlog. Clash, crash out vlog for real. Literally, you see the whole thing. Look at this. Crash out vlog number one. You won't believe where we go next. They should have had Adam22 ride along and vlog this. That's just crazy. Look at this comment. Damn, they ass was too thirsty. It's a busy ass street and they clock them dudes every move from putting on hoodies every stoplight they hit on the way. It's crazy how delusional people thought Muwop was actually beating these charges. The feds tracked them boys every step of the way delusional people don't understand how the feds move why folks think that dirk been trying to shake hands with politicians and be on some community service type shit because he knows they're lurking it's interesting wasn't no way in hell muwop was beating this then delusional people swore up and down that he was i don't wish jail on no man but we all knew their ass was cooked i think what really solidified it for me for real was when zell took his own life before anyone even got booked it's facts there was no way anybody was beating this. I mean, I didn't think anyone was going to beat this, but what happened to the dude that sent them Duck's location? The dude stood there and watched it, and then after they left, he watched Duck on the ground struggling, and he waited there till the ambulance came. Now, that is twisted. I feel like that you got to be even more twisted. For you to call the hit squad, watch the hit go down, and then just be chilling there watching the whole thing afterwards is absolutely wild. My heart would have dropped to my feet if 12 pulled up behind me as soon as we got back. They played it smooth as hell. He knew they did something. Crazy. I don't understand what the cops were doing. They looked like they were trying to pull them over and then just gave up when they walked away. That was weird because it looked like they were going to make an arrest unless that was O-Block security or something. Now, this guy had a theory. I'm going to guess that the CPD cruiser saw them driving erratically on their way home and was going to pull them over. However, he probably observed them a block or two from their spot, so by the time he rolled up on them, they were already pulling up to the parking lot. It would be suicide for the cop to do a traffic stop in that hood-ass parking lot, so the cop did the only thing he could do for what he assumed was a minor traffic offence and backed off. Hell, there was even a B-O-L-O... -O, I don't know what that is. There was even... If, if there was a Bolo... What's a Bolo? Let me know in the chat what Bolo is. Um for that car because it was seen in a f uh, in flight from a shooting it would still be suicide for that cop to get out and engage on what looks to be like four or five dudes that he knows are strapped as you can see they caught them all so it actually makes sense not to go guns blazing that cop ain't max Payne. that's actually a good point this guy saying this guy actually knows what he's talking about you got to take a step back and think about the big picture sometimes it's a lot more aspects 
to things than people give most people give thought to one cop chasing four to five armed men in a project complex who have no regard for human life is a bonehead move especially if the cop didn't actually witness them do much more than drive erratically <laughs> this is like some gta shit like as soon as they walked into the safe house all of their stars went away that's crazy that's actually crazy that's legit what happened bro they lost all their stars they got back to the crib and saved the game reload that shit um extra sloppy pulled the hits from your apartments with the cars that was outside then you commit the murder and drive back to your crib what the f then don't even change and just go back to chilling on the block these dudes are wild as f they didn't even try very lazy hit they should have just pulled into the police station and hit after the hit and saved everyone's time. Crazy. Most hits in Chicago are sloppy. If the CPD were bothered, most shooters would be in jail right now. When TB ain't arrested with clear CCTV, gangs know that when they can IG live a shooting and nothing will happen. It's crazy. Now, this is what I was trying to say earlier with the Vlad thing and Von, okay, with, with everybody that did the hit. It's like Vlad was saying he doesn't understand why they did this murder in broad daylight, but these guys, Muwop these guys that hung around Vaughn and were Vaughn's homies and had seen all the murders that Vaughn had done, they were completely desensitized. They just thought murders was just something you could just do in 63rd and 64th. You see this comment? Thing is, they've done hits this very same way before. In their minds, they're just thinking this is business as usual. They hadn't given it any thought that the feds were going to get involved and that this was going to be way bigger than anything they've done before. Now, that's facts. If you go and look at the guy, Poppy, that got killed, they shot him, I'm pretty sure, broad daylight at his work outside of a grocery store or a hardware store or something helping people put th helping customers put shit in their car and they pulled up and shot him in the head it's all on camera it's not dissimilar to this duck thing and that one shit man they let that slide um facts they've probably been doing this for the longest it's just regular to them dudes woke up this morning and left their brains on the pillow that's crazy they caught every green light on the way back Duck didn't stand a chance. I'm surprised he was even alive for a couple of minutes after he got shot. Man. Man. Sad. They drive right back to O Block in their own vehicles. No stash house. You would have think that they had an O Block house. Like, they could have put 100k down on a house. They're saying, didn't a lot of them leave town immediately after? Why was Moowop chilling in the O all day long? It's crazy, isn't it? Are they slow, or are they just doing what they're used to doing? The fact there's cameras all over the complex, at the lights, on the streets, even in the damn stairways, yet CPD murder clearance for black victims is super low, tells you everything you need to know. I don't know if I want to read this next bit. I might get myself in trouble. Mm. That's getting a little it's getting a little deep, that comment. Um, man, it's crazy. Um, it's just crazy. Kenny Mac is the real crash dummy. Um, he ain't even get out of the car. Used his own car. 12 pulled up right behind him when they got back and everyone else starts running. Crazy. It's wild that they used the cars that were in all the O-Block tour videos. Interview O-Blockians. Did the dude start running? He said I didn't peep, but he started running. Are you telling me everyone jumped out of the car and started running? Did they actually start running? Now they're running. Now they're running. They get out of the sight of the police. And they sprint him. 100 meter dash. Bro. Can't outrun that sentence. I wonder what they're going to get sentenced with. That's the crazy thing. I feel like the, the judge is going to throw the book at them for this one. It's going to be big. I reckon like 55 years or something crazy. They didn't they didn't get sentenced already, right? That's not a thing. Um, crazy. Crazy situation. But anyway, that's, that's kind of the reaction, you know. Crash dummy behavior, basically, is what everyone's saying. But I, I'm honestly shocked that the footage even came out. You know, I think we're seeing a lot of murder footage come out these days. And, you know, it's very sad, but I also think it's just a symptom of the times that we're living in today. You know, everything is on camera. And if something crazy like this happens, 
it's going to get released eventually you know the trial will be over eventually the information will get out there you know it's very sad that you think about it it's like fbg duck ultimately you know died on camera we've seen it all now start to finish you know the footage of what happened to von same story literally within hours of it happening that footage was everywhere tmz every website all over the place um you know and a lot of these other murders t-roy poppy a lot of these murders have been captured on cctv camera and released to the public it's all over the place um you know i it, it, honestly like i'm not trying to get all cosmic on you for a second but i feel like sometimes the, the like this stuff blows my mind to the level where i just feel like bro we're living in this era where everything's going to get caught on camera like everybody's murders everybody's lives everybody's deaths everybody's intimate moments uh, uh, we're just going to get caught on camera we're going to get to a place in the future on some black mirror shit where just every second of your existence is caught on camera and documented bro and it's uh it's kind of twisted if i'm honest with you it's kind of messed up um but it is what it is man and you know the way that von went out and the way that duck went out it's not dissimilar it's not they're not entirely different both of them died on camera both of them got shot surrounded by people you know caught off guard what happened to duck and von there's so many parallels there's so many mirror images that you can kind of see in both of them and it's it's messed up and it's it's, it's a shame you know it's sad for what happened to both of them um you know it doesn't bring me any satisfaction it's depressing it's uh it's heartbreaking you know I know Von did really bad things, but he was a talented artist, man. I love Von's music. I listen to Von every day. I probably listen to Von every day. He's on, he's on so many of my playlists. And I love Duck's music too, man. Amazing music. You know, a lot of people have debated, have, have, did Duck kill somebody? Did he not? But um, it's just sad, both of them. You know, it would have been great for them both to live longer lives and be fulfilled and make more music and put more art out into the world. But shit man they were just too deep in the in the trenches and in the streets there was no other way i don't think i don't think there's a version of the king von story where he goes on to to live a great successful and a happy life um he was either going to be dead or in jail there's just no there's not really any two ways about it man it's it's, it's kind of it's a mess um i don't know man i don't know but um anyway we're gonna move on to something else now <laughs> 